Hey everybody, I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your archer, and today in five minutes, I'm going to show you how to do a fairy tale willow tree with a fan brush. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our round brush, we're going to get it wet, and we're going to come over and create a trunk color, but with a couple surprise colors. I'm going to use my purple and brown together. They're going to create a nice dark color. It's a substitute for using black called chromatic black, and that's kind of fun. When I stroke downward, the beginning of my stroke, the pressure is lightest, and then as I pull the stroke down, I widen it because I want my tree trunk to be widest at the base and tapering as it goes up. Now, this particular tree has a very straight structured trunk, which is actually sometimes kind of harder to do. I'm getting a fan brush and a little bit of green, and I'm going to come in and begin the willow stroke. When you do this as you're stippling, you're stippling up and down, but you're also curving the stroke. So when the bump of the willow tree, because willow trees are built with bumped structures that are weeping down, when you're on the left-hand side of the bump, you curve left. When you're on the right-hand side of the bump, you curve right. If you need to see more about that, check out the first video in the series that covers the technique specifically. Now, I'm going to continue to build bumps with the green and brown dark mixture. This is our deepest mixture. It builds the structure of the tree. You'll notice that as I'm tapering down the stippling strokes with the hog fan, this is a hog bristle fan, I'm going to make them uneven. The tree's branches are not all uniform. It's nice to come along and add a dark base of grass underneath because your trees should be growing out of something. So I'm going to use just a little bit of brown and green to create that. And then I'm going to come back up and continue to form the tree. So I really love observing uh, willow trees. And even though that this willow tree is kind of a fantasy fairy tale version of one because, you know, it really flowers at the end of the drape. And I love that. You've got to build up these segments. You want the center of the tree to be fairly dark and solid. And then you want these different like upward branch lumps, these upward structures to really show themselves uh, as unique individuals, as unique spaces within the tree. So have a lot of fun with that practice. Don't be hard on yourself. This is a journey. It's not a destination. It's not like one and done. I'm going to get a little brown and yellow together and I'm going to come in and make a rough side stroke on the tree and then I add white and go up and down it's just a dry brush my pressure is light and then I come back with other strokes and I'm trying to make a very rough bark I add yellow to a green and I come in and I flick using that grass stroke with the upward flick of the fan to create grass leaving those dark values in there so we don't lose them now add some yellow and green to your previous mixture. It's still there. We haven't really rinsed out. So there's still a touch of brown into that. And we're going to start to create shape by making highlights. Find each individual little uh, structure of the tree, different fall or cascade of the tree. And you'll want to highlight that while leaving a dark value for the tree to still have depth. And that will start to build the bumps or cascades or falls of your willow tree whether it's fantasy or realistic it's really going to have to have some basis of that structure and i like to add a very light color to the tips of the trees and i start to get into the sunlight there you'll notice that i added more yellow first and then white um, that helps me light my greens and i'm very specifically picking spaces i'm not overwhelming the whole tree with light value i'm coming in with the light values and that helps you see sort of a sense of individual leaves but the shadow keeps going. You're like purple and blue and white, why? Because we're gonna add some flowers at the tips of the branches. So in this, we're gonna imagine this is kind of like a wisteria willow and there's flowers at the end of each of these weeping branches. Uh, very magical, very fairy tale. You know, you can do a lot of things with your trees. You can paint trees as they are, but you can be imaginative and experiment and have fun and play and that's okay too. I'm going to continue to add that through. And you'll notice I don't take it all the way through. Rinse out that purple before you get into that yellow. I'm going to add a very bright yellow highlight to the top of the tree. But rinse out the purple completely or your green will go gray. Add a highlight of grass down there under the tree. And take a minute and look at it and go, am I happy with this? Is this what I wanted? Rinse out your brush. And if you see anything that's left, I feel like a little extra highlight to our flowers just to make them seem like they're also in the sun is a good idea. So I take a little of my blue and white, much more than the purple. So this is the blue and white. I'm gonna come along and add just a, a kiss of highlight to the flowers 
So they are kind of turning in the breeze and turning in the light as well. It's looking really good. I hope you like yours. I cannot wait to show you what we're going to do tomorrow. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at an easel really soon. Bye-bye.